ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Everybody has heard the term, the casting couch. While it's one of those terms that people associate with old Hollywood, it's also a term that most people probably have not spent much time thinking about. In fact, many people probably viewed it as a way for women to use their sexuality in order to give themselves an advantage over the competition when looking for film roles. However, what many people do not realize is that the casting couch was never a way for aspiring stars to try to monetize their sexuality. Instead, the casting couch was a euphemism for a system that systematically exploited vulnerable actors, both male and female, while producers and directors often used their power to sexually harass victims, knowing that they would fear reprisal. They also used the so-called casting couch as an opportunity to commit sexual assaults and as a way to prevent their victims from reporting these assaults. Hello and welcome to Lovely TTV. I hope you guys are doing good today. Today we're going to delve into the dark side of Fred Savage and discuss why he was recently fired. Now who doesn't know the 46 year old Wonder Years actor Fred Savage aka Kevin Arnold. He definitely played a big part in my childhood. The Wonder Years was one of my favorite shows. I love Kevin Arnold and Winnie Cooper together. I watched this show from start to finish. Tonight while you sleep, pal. But if you guys do not know, he's being accused of a lot of really bad shady things. Now, funny enough, Fred Savage is from the land of the savages, AKA Chicago, okay? And recently he landed himself in hot water since the news of him getting fired from the Wonder Years reboot has surfaced. From sexual assault to verbal abuse, Fred Savage is a literal savage who has a long list of accusers. So grab your teacups because this tea is what? Huh, piping hot. After working on the Wonder Years for so many years, Fred Savage went on to host the Nick Jr. channel and got himself involved in kids' television. He also began directing kids' shows on Nick and Disney. Not only that, he also directed some of Dan Schneider, okay, Big Dan. He directed some of Dan Schneider's shows as well, like Zoe 101, Oliver Bean, and Drake and Josh. Now, one of the actors from Zoe 101 that was not a fan of Fred Savage was Alexa Nicholas, and she shared her thoughts on Instagram concerning Fred Savage. She's quoted as saying, he worked on Zoe 101, never was a fan. I also heard inappropriate stories about him throughout the years. His eyes would go dead. They all see his absolute perfect best face, but he sometimes showed a different side to below the line employees who don't have power. After the allegations of improper conduct and confessions by some of the crew members came out, the ABC reboot of The Wonder Years were left with no option other than firing Fred Savage. Now, what's interesting about the Fred Savage drama is that back in 1993, a woman named Monique Long sued Fred Savage, who was 16 at the time. Monique Long was a Wonder Years costume stylist, and she claimed that Fred Savage, who was 16 years old, physically and verbally abused her. And what was very interesting is that years later, back in 2018, Allie Mills, who played Fred Savage's mother, Norma Arnold, she confirmed that the show ended due to a sexual harassment lawsuit. In 1993 was the year that the series ended, and the 31-year-old costume designer, Monique Long, filed a sexual harassment suit against Savage and Jason Harvey, who played Savage's older brother. Savage and Harvey at the time were only 16 and 20. Long had worked on the show at various points during the years of 1991 in 1992. The lawsuit alleged that during that time on the series, she couldn't do her job properly due to physical and verbal harassment from both of these young male actors, and she was eventually fired for complaining. Per the Los Angeles Times, Long claimed that Savage constantly held her hand and asked her to have an affair and made tons of sexual remarks towards her. Monique Long sent an email to Yahoo saying that she still stands by her claims of harassment. What I will say is this, at the time back then, sexual harassment was not popular or acceptable in Hollywood. Now, all these years later, the truth about the dark side of Hollywood and the rampant prevalence of sexual harassment in the industry is out. It's an issue of power and control, and it continues to be. 
People can say what they want, but the truth has always been public record. All the complaints and the documents and depositions filed with the court have always been public. If anyone wants to know the truth and what happened, they can read it there. To this day, I stand by the truths in those documents. Now let's fast forward to modern day. There's a young woman named, named Young Ju Hong, and she worked on the set of Grindr. She was a stylist and she dealt with the costumes. And she was so sick of Fred Savage's behavior on the set of The Fox Show that she herself also filed a lawsuit against the actor. Right now. <clears throat> General statutes. I did not understand one word of that. Um, I have a question. Have you ever talked before? She claimed that he created a hostile work environment. She also mentioned that Fred Savage violently struck her in the arm three times after she brushed dandruff off of his shirt. Her lawyer stated that Fred Savage's firing from the Wonder Years reboot had been a long time coming after years of alleged misconduct. Attorney Anita Seda went on to say, I'm not the least bit surprised, she told Page Six on May 9th. She stated that her client alleged that he physically assaulted her on the set of the Fox sitcom, and the case was settled April 2019. In the past, Fred Savage had allegedly engaged in this type of behavior, not just towards my client, but other women as well. It is unfortunate that it took my client speaking out before action was finally taken on that particular set. Now, things didn't stop there for Fred Savage as he continued to prey on younger girls and was involved in a relationship with one of his crew members. Fred Savage was accused of manipulative and controlling behavior regarding a younger female crew member who reportedly moved into the Atlanta house that Savage was living in while the Wonder Years reboot was in production. The younger woman allegedly claimed to colleagues that Savage Savage, who was currently married to his wife, Jennifer Savage, brought her gifts and spoke of potential future plans with her. But she also stated that she grew more afraid of him due to his anger issues. Co-workers claimed that the young crew member's entire demeanor was changed over time. She lost her bubbly personality that she exuded before working with Fred Savage. Now, another turning point in the Fred Savage case is this. Another crew member on the same set also accused him of sexual abuse. One woman who became super close to him on the set of the Wonder Years reboot said that they became really good friends and everything was smooth until December 2021 when Savage followed her into a bar bathroom. He forced himself on her and she didn't hesitate to tell him, no, don't do this. It would ruin their friendship, but he didn't stop. And then finally, after a few minutes, he came to his senses and he stopped. Fred Savage even left her a message the next day apologizing for his bad behavior. Now, that's not creepy enough. I remember back in high school watching this Lifetime movie, and it was starring Fred Savage and Candace Cameron. Um, she played DJ on Full House. This movie came out in 1996, and it was called No One Would Tell. And basically, Candace Cameron is in an abusive relationship with Fred Savage, and the boyfriend on the show is called Bobby. And it's just very eerie how all of these things that people are describing, he actually played this character years ago, back in 1996. So this is just proof that sometimes truth is stranger than fiction. A hometown hero everyone adored. He's so sweet. Yeah, what happened to your back? Everything's fine. No. She loved him so much. We're out of here. It hurt. Why did you have to get me so mad? We have to stop seeing each other. I can't have her. Stop it! No one's gonna. Inspired by a true story that brought an obsessed boyfriend to justice. Tell me where she is! Candace Cameron, Fred Savage. I got a little jealous. No one would tell NBC Monday. Now, Fred Savage has responded to all the allegations. So Fred Savage says, These accusations are complete without merit and absolutely untrue. None of these claims could be substantiated because they didn't happen. It is devastating to learn that there are co-workers who feel I have fallen short of these goals. Fred also went on to mention that he will change his conduct and the way he deals with people in the future. So what do you guys think about this entire situation concerning Fred Savage? Do you guys believe the accusations levied against him? Because he's saying that it's not true. I also find it interesting that he worked on some of the same sets as Dan Schneider. And he was a very popular, you know, teen actor back in the day. So sometimes when you're in those positions of power, especially over adults, 
people on set did tend to, especially back in the 90s, let these teenagers run amok and act a fool. So I definitely believe what that costume stylist is saying about Fred Savage, um, because a lot of people just, you know, acted without impunity back then. And I do find it very interesting that fast forward 20 years later, He's working on more children's shows and he's a director and he's in a position of power and he's not being tied to younger cast members and younger crew members and things like that. So anyways, I want to hear from you guys. I'll leave the question with y'all. Let me know your thoughts on this video. What do you guys think about all these accusations that are being levied against Fred Savage? Please make sure you guys hit the like button. Feel free to share the video. And most importantly, please make sure that you're still subscribed to the channel. So go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let's get the discussion popping. I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so tell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.